Hello and welcome to Prague. We're at the Prague Castle here, which is one of the most visited places by tourists. But we think there's another place that you should visit and it's only a 10 minute walk from here. It is the Museum of Public Transport. Follow me. As I promised, after a short 10 minute walk, we have reached the Museum of Public Transport. Uh, it's easy to walk here or uh, obviously you can take a tram here. Uh, it's trams number one, two and 25. There's the entrance, 100 crowns per person. Follow me. If you come to the museum, there are no tour guides, but you can grab uh, one of the guides in many languages. For example, in French, it's called Petit Guide, but I'm the honest guide and I will try to walk you through the museum now. And we're starting off with the very first thing that was transporting passengers around Prague, the first public transport. It was a tram, but not electric tram, but a horse carriage, horse drawn tram. And if you're curious how powerful this carriage was, it was, what were you saying the horsepower on this one was? Oh, it was one, two, two horsepower. Eventually they figured out they can replace horses with electricity. So they took the horse carriage, hooked it up to one of the first electric powered trams that was riding around Prague. This one is from 1901. And how did they operate one of these old historical trams? Well, it was easy, right? You would have a gas or electric pedal and a brake pedal. Quite simple. Uh, actually, not really. And they have a driver's cabin where you or your kids can try out how easy it was. So here we go. Let's take this tram for a ride. So now we're in the zero position. So let's go forward. Faster. And we're on a full throttle now. Oh, there's a person jumping in front of my tram. I'm gonna warn him. He's not getting out of the way, so I'm gonna brake. But this brake is only electric, so I need to use mechanical brake. And he's still not getting out of the way. Oh. And off we go. It's hard to describe this on a video, but to turn this lever was really or is really hard. So it was a tough job being a tram driver back in the days. I'm sure you're used to that trams have and had numbers. That's how you could tell from where to where the tram was going. But in the very early days, the oldest trams, and we could also see it on the horse carriage tram, they, instead of numbers, used symbols. Uh, so instead of saying, oh, I'm taking number nine home, you would say, I'm taking the pizza tram home. And speaking of these two trams that we just showed you, and we were just told uh, by people working here, you know why they're mirrored? Why the number here is on the left side and here it's on the right side? Because this tram is pre-war when the trams were going on the left side of the road, and this is after war when the trams were going on the right side of the road. It's amazing. You know how we always tell you with Honza that instead of the sightseeing hop on hop of buses, you should use a Prague tram. Well, someone had this idea 100 years ago and they've created this sightseeing tram back in 1913. Let's hop on it. As you can see, there's not really a roof, there's no window, so it was perfect for sightseeing around Prague. But there was one problem. Back in the days, you couldn't just turn the tram around at the end of the tracks because there was no turn. You had to go the other direction. But how would you solve it with the seats? People would be going backwards. Well, they had a solution for this. You just flip the seats. Genius. They actually have one more sightseeing tram in the museum, one of the oldest ones here. It's from 1900 with little golden touches because it's a bit special. Wait till you see it inside. Mm -hmm. 
yes, we are on a Prague tram. And this one is nicknamed the mayor's tram. So I would just like to point out that if I would ever want to become a mayor, the only reason would be so I could ride on this tram. It's amazing. We move only a few steps, but we actually jump ahead in time in 90 years to 1990 to this tram that we've previously showed you on one of our episodes. So I guess right from the episode, it parked here in the museum. And we got some really mad comments from Prague tram lovers that we said it's nicknamed Duck because it looks like a duck. That is not true, and I didn't know that, I'm sorry. It's nicknamed Duck because the name of the tram is KT, which would shorten to Katechko, and that would shorten to Kachka, and Kachka in Czech means duck. <sighs> sorry. <laughs> but now I know, and now you know. By far our most favorite and definitely the most iconic tram for Prague is the T3. It has many versions. It evolved from 60s through 80s, eventually to what it looked like after year 2000. It is still evolving and it's unbelievable that this one kind of tram is still transporting people around Prague for almost 60 years now. And we were told there's no plans to pull them down. So uh, you will be seeing them for quite some time still in Prague. And here's our final tip for the museum. After you spend enough time looking at the trams, you can actually ride one. You can ride the historical line 41. The museum is only opened on weekends. Same goes for the historical line. The stop for it is right in front of the museum. So just get your ticket on board and take a ride. Funny enough, when we were given the tour by the guys from the uh, museum, they told us this tram is historical, but it's very shiny. The original trams were never this shiny. Uh, but I'm sure you will enjoy a ride in this, and I hope you enjoyed today's episode, and I hope even more that you will come to the museum uh, to see it for yourself uh, and see the beauty, 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 full, that's what I was going to say, trams they have inside. I'm a huge fan of public transport. That's partially why we showed you the museum. And I think that by visiting it, you will not only find out more about Prague, but about how it developed and uh, a lot about the street design uh, that developed in Prague over the centuries. Uh, myself, I really want to visit the public transport museum that is in New York. I never found time for it, but I guess now that I said it, I will have to visit uh, to learn more about their public transport. Hope you didn't forget we're only 10 minute walk from the Prague castle that I'm sure you will go to. So make sure to visit here as well. That's it from us, Honza, Janek, the honest guides. Hope to see you next week. And a Czech word at the end is brzda, which is a break. Brzda, break. <laughs>